So let's get to some more examples using this formula. So first one I have 1 half x squared plus x minus 10 equals 0. My first step is I'm going to go ahead and label my a, b, and c. So here my a is equal to 1 half. b is equal, it's not a number in front of x, but there's really just an imaginary 1 there. So that means that my b is equal to 1. And then c is my last number here, which is negative 10. So I'm going to start with just copying down my formula. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug in my values. So negative, my b value here is 1. You notice whenever I'm plugging in, I just go ahead and always put parentheses around it. It's better to be safe than sorry. And then b squared, so I have 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1 half, times c, which is negative 10. All over 2a, which a is 1 half. Well, this first part just ends up giving me negative 1 plus or minus. 1 squared is just 1. And then negative 4 times 1 half is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 10, I get a positive 20. Over 1, because 2 times 1 half is just 1. negative 1 plus or minus 1 plus 20 is 21 for 1. And then now from here, I'm going to go ahead and split this apart. So this plus or minus means I can either have negative 1 plus the square root of 21 over 1, or I can have negative 1 minus the square root of 21 over 1. So you notice everything's the same. It's just that middle part, I have a plus, and the other one, I have a minus. And so here I can use Desmos to help me answer this. So I go over to Desmos. I have negative 1 plus, to get that square root, I'm going to click this radical button. And then I'm going to divide all of that by 1, which will give me the same thing. And so rounding to the nearest tenth, I'm going to get 3.6 for that first part. And then I want to do also minus. So I'm just going to change that plus to minus. And rounding to the nearest tenth, I get negative 5.6. So my answer is here, x equals negative 5.6 and 3.6. Okay, let's look at another one. So first step, I need to label my a, b, and c. My a is the number in front of x squared. Again, there's not a number there, but there's really an imaginary one. So it's really one x squared. So my a equals one. My b is the number in front of x, which here is negative six. And then my c is that last number, which is five. So my formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over 2a. So here my b value is negative 6. b squared, again, don't forget those parentheses. Minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 5, all over 2 times a, which is 1. Negative, negative 6 is really just a positive 6. Negative 6 squared, if you don't know what that is, you can go ahead and use Desmos for that as well. So make sure you put parentheses around it. And you see that's 36. Minus 4 times 1 is 4, times 5 is 20 all over 2 times 1, which is 2.
36 minus 20, I get 16. And then now at this point, I like to go ahead and break it apart. So the first one, I'm going to have 6 plus the square root of 16 over 2. And then 6 minus the square root of 16 over 2. So putting that Desmos, if you want that fraction right away, um, you can put that division sign first. So hit the slash button on your keyboard. And so I want 6 plus square root of 16 over 2. And I find that's 5. And then for that second answer, I'm just going to change that plus to a minus, and I get 1. So x is going to equal 1 and 